Hi guys, my name is Boone Brown. I own the Ancient Ways Martial Arts Academy here in Bradenton, Florida. And I got some questions for you. So do you know someone who's uh, super smart? Maybe they have a high level education. Uh, maybe, you know, they got, everything seems to, seems to fall in their lap, but yet they're still not successful. Yeah, I know some of those people too. Uh, do you know someone who, who they don't have any of those things? They're not uh, well educated. They're not super smart. There's no real talent there. Um, they're not good looking. They're not lucky, but yet they're still very successful. Yeah, I mean, look at some of the richest guys in the world. That's them right there. Those successful people have three things that the rest don't have. And guys, I'm not saying that an education isn't vital. You definitely need it. It definitely gives you one more per, uh, uh, additional percentage chances of being successful. But on top of that, you got to have these three things or it's worthless. Those three things are number one, self-discipline, making yourself do whatever it takes. Now listen close as long as it takes, as many times as it takes, not until you get it right, but until you no longer get it wrong. And that's something that uh, is vital for any endeavor, whether it's you know in martial arts or whether it's in gymnastics or whether it's in basketball or swimming or soccer or business or academia and in school, you've got to have that attitude. Number two, you have to have confidence. The confidence to stand up for yourself, to, to make sure that you step forward when everybody else is scared to go on. The, you know, anytime you, you talk to someone who starts their own business, they were terrified. The word entrepreneur means risk taker. And so that has to be someone who has got the confidence to take those strides and to do what it takes. And the third thing, and I think the most important thing, is perseverance. Guys, we're going to hit plateaus in our lives. All of us are in our personal relationships, in school, in our jobs. And if you just quit, then you don't accomplish anything. But if you work through those spots, then you go on to success. We're always going to have to persevere. And that's really the key. I think about people like uh, the Colonel from Kentucky Fried Chicken. He went to uh, bank after bank after bank trying to get the money to start KFC. And a hundred told him no. But he went to one more who told him yes. And he figured if I just keep asking, sooner or later, somebody's going to say yes. And they did. And that was when he was in his 60s when he started that business. Super successful businessman. We can all do the same thing. And we want this for our children. And I don't know anything that provides it quite the way martial arts does. I've worked in clinical settings. I've worked in school environments. I've been a camp counselors. I've taught swimming and surfing and sailing and you name it. I've done it. And the reality is nothing teaches this like martial arts. This Saturday, we have a special free community event. In this community event, for one hour, it's from noon to one, you bring your kids in. We're gonna teach them some cool ability to defend themselves. So they, if they ever get bullied or get cornered or get somewhere where someone's trying to take them from you, they're able to protect themselves. But we're also going to teach them about goal setting. You are gonna take a board, a real wooden board. On one side, you're gonna write down what you think their goal should be. On the other side, you're gonna write down that obstacle. For me, I needed to stop daydreaming so that I could focus on my schoolwork. And that, I'm serious, that was my thing. And so on one side of the board, it said, you know, my obstacle is daydreaming. On the other side, good grades. And so my instructor held the board and I pounded through that. And from that point forward, A, I felt super confident because I just broke a wooden board with my hand. It was incredible. But on top of that, I knew if I could break that board, I can definitely stop the daydreaming because that's a whole lot harder than stopping daydreaming. And here's the cool thing is that you can take those boards home with you and the next time your kid says, I can't or it's too hard, you go, really? You broke a board. It's not harder than that. And they stop saying, I can't or it's too hard. Guys, this free event is this Saturday here at Ancient Ways from noon to one. If you can't make it, call us. We'll arrange for you and your kids to have a private lesson doing exactly the same thing. Hope to hear from you. Y'all take care and have a great day.